Hare Krishna. Question from Vinayak Deshpande Prabhu. Some jnanis say that bhakti is for the less intelligent, whereas Shila Prabhupada says that only those who are intelligent can practice bhakti. Uh, how do we recons how do we understand these two statements? Answer the jnanis idea of bhakti being for the less intelligent is based on a misunderstanding about intelligence and a lack of understanding about bhakti that is rooted in scripture. So a misunderstanding of intelligence means they think of intelligence as the capacity for intellectual processing of information and concepts and that means they basically think of it as the capacity for speculation and they consider that a person who has a lot of capacity for speculation is an intelligent person. However, information processing capacity is only one faculty of intelligence. The most important capacity faculty of intelligence is the capacity of discrimination in terms of right and wrong, in terms of what is beneficial and what is un uh, unbeneficial. So Krishna talks about this intelligence in goodness in the 18th chapter and he basically talks about discrimination what is causing you to what is going to cause bondage what is bringing liberation what is going to cause uh, what is good what is bad what is dharma what is the dharma so essentially he talks about intelligence in terms of the capacity for discrimination and he talks about that later in determination also uh, determination in goodness and intelligence in goodness so uh, the intelligent person doesn't have to be intellectual you know even a person who doesn't can't do much intellectual processing of data if that person understands okay this is this is material this is spiritual this is sinful this is virtuous then that person has intelligence so not all devotees need to have uh, in intellectual capacity in terms of information processing and even if they don't have, so the many devotees may seem like sentimentalists who chant, dance, sing and they may not seem to have very deep knowledge about philosophy and they may not have the capacity to speculate and that's why the jnanis may consider them to be not so intelligent and they say that, oh bhakti is meant for such less intelligent sentimental people but they may be less intellectual but they are not less intelligent they are actually very intelligent because they know what is right and what is wrong and they know that ultimately spiritual advancement is not a matter of just the capacity for intellectual processing it is a matter of grace it is a matter of mercy and they by the sincere sentiment devotional sentiments of the heart attract that mercy of Krishna and make spiritual advancement so now when Srila Prabhupada says that only those who are, are most intelligent can practice bhakti then the point is that this in Prabhupada refers to this intelligence as the intelligence to recognize the need to take shelter of Krishna. Krishna jai bhaje sai bada chatur. That's what Chaitanya Charitamrut says. And Krishna also says, Bahunam janmana mante jnanavan maam prapadyate vasudeva sarvamiti samhatma sudurlabha. So he says, Who does prapadyate? Jnanavan. Now, the jnanavan maam prapadyate. So now it is not that all devotees have to be very intellectual but they at least have to have the basic intelligence to recognize that I need the help of a higher power and when they take and they take shelter of Krishna by recognizing that need then that willingness to take shelter of Krishna itself is a sign of intelligence and uh, Krishna also says that even if a devotee does not have intellectual processing capacity still he says whatever is required whatever intellectual resources are required Krishna says I provide them the Dami Buddhi Yogam Tam Jnana Deepayana Bhaswata in 10.10 .10 and 10.11 Krishna says that I compensate for any intellectual deficiency that is there in a devotee so in that sense what is a devotee's intelligence it is the recognition that I have to take shelter of Krishna and further the devotee's intelligence is directly a gift from Krishna and that intelligence is far superior to mere information processing capability which in and of itself cannot lead to spiritual advancement a jnani may be able to speak a lot about scripture but that doesn't mean that the jnani will be able to live scripture no, that requires determination, that requires grace and that requires uh, dynamic applicational insight which is not just possible through mere information processing capacity and that's why the jnanis 
often they are intellectual but they don't really become very transcendental they often stay in goodness and sometimes they come down even from goodness to lower modes and they speak philosophy and abstract and spiritual lofty spiritual concepts but if you look at their life often they are caught up in sense gratification so this is how those who are mere gyanis are actually not very intelligent and those who take shelter of krishna irrespective of whether they have intellectual processing capacity or not they are supremely intelligent thank you hare krishna